Hi there. My name is Amy Dayries and I'm a dentist outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and I would like to say I practice integrative dentistry. Uh, what I mean by that is we try to look at the whole body through the mouth and we, when we see a sign of disease that affects the whole body in the mouth, we notify our patients about that and try to offer supportive therapies. And today I would like to talk about transforming our healthcare system by looking at models that identify health instead of focusing on the disease. By looking at our health, we might be able to support our health better and offer new paradigms to people for healing. My guest today is Dr. Arlene Diamko, and Dr. Diamko runs a business called All Worlds Health. She is an integrative medical practitioner. She's a medical doctor with degrees from Emory and Harvard, and also you did uh, at Arizona State University an integrative health fellowship. And I'm very pleased to uh -huh. have you on my show. And we have a number of mutual patients. Dr. Diamka practices thank you. in the Atlanta area, too. Yes, thank, thank you, you so on. much for having me. <laughs> this is an amazing topic um, to bring up and so timely right now. And um, I like to say transformative medicine because right now we have a mostly disease model of health care. We are looking for what's wrong with you instead of looking for what's right with you. What is that? spark of life in a person and how can we support that how can we draw that out of a person that's very a really different focus than what we usually encounter when we go to the doctor so how do you start looking at that spark of health so to speak well as soon as a person walks in a room then you can see just um, their whole being and so there's so many layers to it in terms of how a person feels balanced because a lot of people that come to see me sometimes sometimes they prefer a more natural way of doing things but sometimes they've been through to many different healthcare practitioners or many different specialists um, medical specialists and they're saying i don't feel right but they have difficulty like figuring out what to do with them they're not sure what's wrong with them so when we, they come to see me we look from many different perspectives because it's not just the absence of disease. It's not just, well, I couldn't find anything, so therefore you must be healthy. It's more, how are you as a whole? How's your whole being? How's your physical state? Are your physical functions working? Are you sleeping well? Do you feel relaxed? Is there any tension in your muscles? And then how about your emotional state? That goes along with how the body is feeling as well. Like, do you feel like you're in a good mood? Do you feel joy or do you feel down and really anxious more often? And what about your mental state? Are your thoughts fluid? Are you able to um, think through things and use your thoughts in a helpful way. Or are they looping the same thing, saying you're, you're not good enough or there's something wrong with you or you wish you were better? And then there's that spiritual balance too. So that's when, do you feel connected? Do you mm -hmm. feel connected with yourself as a being? Do you feel connected with other beings, with other people, animals, the earth? So when you have all of those components in balance, then to me that is health. And so you can see what layer someone needs to work on, or not, not necessarily work, but it's like which layer needs more support. more support. Yes, because when I see patients, I see their light, even if they're in, they feel like they're in the most dire of states. I'm like, I can still see their light of health mm -hmm. because there's a part of you that's your soul that cannot be extinguished. Everybody has it. And so if we support that and draw that out, that will affect all the layers. That is really, really cool. It's really, really cool. It's, it's profound. So you're saying, and I agree with you, there's, you have a physical, a mental, emotional health, and really there's a balance of all those things. One could be out of whack, and when one's out of whack, it could throw another one out of whack and have sort of a cascading effect yes. down into something that's not health anymore. Yes, and it could be on any layer. So what um, contributes to like someone not feeling well, it could, maybe it is a physical injury, maybe um, they had a car accident, um, maybe it is an emotional trauma, and it could, emotional trauma or stress, it doesn't have to be what we think of as like a big trauma, mm -hmm. it could be that, but it could be, oh, you went through puberty and that was a stressful time for you. Um, so yeah, it could be mental stresses too, just, um, uh, just at your job or school or studying, it, it could be on any layer. 
I read a study recently, um, and it had to do with a, this is a kind of a science experiment, but it was a quantum physics kind of science experiment where people's eyes might immediately glaze over. But the whole thing, the result of the study was that if you expected a certain outcome, that that actually influenced the actual scientific outcome of this study yes. with these yes. particles. Yes, so. there are so many neat things you could read about, that quantum aspect and then that intentional aspect. There's a book called The Power of Eight by Lynn McTaggart, which is really taking that group intention together and that brings in that quantum healing aspect. And really, I mean, if we want to talk about quantum, we're all great manifestors. Mm -hmm. It's what you're, it's using your mind to help manifest. If you want something in terms of like health, you want to be in that vibration, you actually have to allow yourself to feel that vibration to allow yourself to heal. It's not the other way around. It's not that, oh, I'm going to, you know, once I get healthy, then I will feel in that joy. I'll be, feel that vibration. It's like really letting yourself imagine and feel joy and then health can come. It's like sometimes people say, if you're in a relationship, you need to allow someone to love you or to, you have to be present, well, you have to you, be grounded. Yes, and even before that, it's like letting, like loving yourself because how can you provide love in a relationship if you don't love yourself? So yeah, it's, it's amazing how much you can heal just even starting to shift your perspective in that way. So we're, we're, I'd like to hear more about how when people come to see you or if you go to an integrative practice, what they might expect in terms of that support for that different type, different aspects of health. So when someone comes to see me, we'll talk about, um, you know, whatever they wanted to come in for. Some people are just coming to, to check in. Mm -hmm. And I explain to them, um, we're going to look at all the different layers. A lot of people, we start from just the physical. That's a lot of times it's medical, so they're, t they're ready to talk about physical aspects of illness. And so if you think about the body like as a whole, and I'll pull out, I love to have this balloon prop here. So if you, have, if you think about a body as a whole and you were to squeeze any part mm -hmm. there or put, or put any pressure, you would feel that throughout. True. And so a person is the same way. You have the whole, you're a whole being. So the part affects the whole. So you could fall like on your wrist and that impact go all the way through you and affect your ears, your sinuses, how you're thinking. Well, let's come back to that in just a minute. Okay. We'll be right back in just a minute to explain more about how to find health and how one part affects the whole. Hi, I'm Tim Ray, founder of the United Intentions Foundation, where we offer resources and programs to help others awaken to the power of their intentions. One of the ways we get this great message out is through our UI Media Network, which is a platform for people to share their stories and wisdom on air on how they live a life with intent. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kramer, and Tim and I united to create systematic change on a global scale. We realized that there were gaps in our educational system. Kids were going home every day being bullied, teen suicide was on the rise, and our Imagine If Education program helps students understand that they have the ability to create the world around them through their positive thoughts and inspired action. As we become adults, we often forget how our imagination creates the world around us every day and how our intentions and our actions from that imagination determines what we experience. Our goal as a foundation is to use the money raised to offer it free to kids, parents, adults, other communities, other nonprofit organizations, 
and teach them that they have the ability to create the world around them. We are so grateful to this incredible cast of paradigm shifters who are authentically changing this world on a global scale. Hi there, I'm Dr. Amy Dairies, a general and integrative dentist in Roswell, Georgia, and I'm also a spokesperson for the American Dental Association. You know, as a dentist, I tell my patients that the mouth is the window to one's overall health, just as the eyes are the window to one's soul. After working in general dentistry for the last 25 years, it has become my desire to offer good health resource information to everyone around me, empowering members of the public to become their best, healthiest selves. The Whole Healing Radio Show features practitioners from dentistry, healthcare, and nutrition about the cutting edge techniques available. Together, my guests and I will show you how to implement lifestyle changes, achieve your personal goals for health, and heal the parts of you that may have been forgotten. When your health is intact, you can go on to manifest your ultimate dreams. Become the best version of yourself. Join me, Dr. Amy Dairies, on The Whole Healing Radio Show to learn how. Welcome back to The Whole Healing Show, and my guest, Dr. Arlene Diamco, she's an integrative medical doctor, and we practice outside of Atlanta. I'm a dentist, but we, we're pretty close by one another, and when a patient goes to see an integrative doctor like Dr. Diamco, they can expect to be supported in, the, in their concepts of how they can approach things from their perspective. It's like the, the doctor meets the patient's perspective. That's that's what we should be doing in our healthcare system is meeting the patient's perspective. So at, at her office, for example, you might get a recommendation for a natural supplement or taking vitamins or an exercise routine. And um, so I wanted to especially focus on, for a few minutes here on one of the aspects of health that she offers or treatments that she offers, which is called osteopathic work. Yes, and I really, osteopathic medicine is one of my passions, and I am specifically a cranial osteopath, so I work with a lot of the subtle rhythms of the body, so it's a very gentle treatment, fully clothed. Um, you have a picture right yes, now, don't you? Yes, yes, this is me treating my daughter here, and so it's very light touch and very relaxing. And it lets the body unwind. So letting tension unwind and all those different layers, whether it's how the bones are aligned, how the fascia has any kinks or tension in it, um, the movement of all the fluids. So mm -hmm. the arteries that bring nutrients, the veins remove toxins, the lymph flow that drains inflammation, cerebral spinal fluid flow for all the nerves to communicate effectively, and how the organs are functioning, not just separately, but integrated. So it's an integrated mo um, look at the body and how those rhythms are all working. It's like if everyone had their own rhythm, every part of the body and if it was an orchestra you wanted everyone to be in harmony so it sounds sense. yes beautiful that is beautiful and it's gentle and it's it's comfortable because you're wearing just whatever you came in with right yes and you're just laying on your back um looks like you probably play right. some soft music a little bit maybe yes at the same time well it. yeah p preference for the patient some people like music some people don't mm -hmm. and um yeah it can be quite profound so we can um release a lot of imbalances. A lot of sinus drainage potentially. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that was, it was great. I loved that you found me so that we could work together with working with that. It, I, I work with the whole body, mm -hmm. but just the part always represents the whole. So in dentistry, I mean, just looking here at the jaw, the teeth, you can get a picture of the whole health of the person. And I, that's, that's something that that's you see. That's true. That's what we see. I mean, it's stuff from the fact that about half the um, bacteria that's in the mouth is shared in the colon. So we can get an, a really good idea about mm -hmm. gut inflammation from the mouth. But also, um, this having this as a as a tool or that I have I can send a patient to somebody who does what you do. It helps me to know as a dentist if my appliance is is helping that patient reach an equilibrium yeah or if it, is it putting a lot of strain on them right and and your appliances it's, it's unique in terms in dentistry too well, we make a lot of different appliances mm -hmm. but specifically we make some that can help people um with with sleeping or helping um grow or develop an airway some right. of those are fda approved for for those types of uh troubles sleep apnea kinds of troubles um, and then some of them are for trauma. So I had a little prop. Um, this is a patient near and dear to me. Um, she's one of my 
daughters, and um, she had a fall at the age when she was in preschool. And after that, we noticed that she had started snoring and had um, a lot of trouble sleeping. She developed, this is about the age of five, she had dark circles under her eyes. And we noticed that her, um, her lower jaw was a little narrower, and she started having crowding of teeth when her permanent teeth started coming in. So um, knowing what I know now, I wish I could have brought her to someone like you because she really had had this head trauma. I mean, the, the, she'd fallen on her chin, just she was sort of a tomboy, had had stitches here on the bottom of her chin. But later we ended up, it's not, it wasn't incorrect to do or anything, but it, we ended up going a surgical route. We ended up getting her tonsils out. There are some dental appliances mm -hmm. when they support the airway or help somebody unwind. Sometimes mm -hmm. you'll see a reduction in the size of those tonsils. And um, it, it really helps the person regain a new equilibrium when you can problem solve. Um, yeah. Because kids shouldn't be snoring when they I've, sleep. I've seen so many kids like that. And actually with very similar, similar accidents where they fell, maybe hit their chin, and it kind of takes their breath away. It's, it puts a shock in their system, and that's what I feel. And a lot of times what parents will report is that, well, you know, they went to the emergency room, everything checked mm -hmm. out okay, they checked in with their pediatrician afterwards, everything was still okay, but they were missing some spark. They're like, I don't know, their eyes are not quite right, or they're, they're just a little paler, but the physician said that they're okay. And you know, when I'll check those kids, it's like their whole mechanism just got squished. Mm -hmm. And it just needed a little support to help release whatever that shock. It just went, <gasps> and it just needed to like settle back down <sighs> and relax. <laughs> and as soon as that happens, oh my gosh, the light comes back in their eyes. Mm -hmm. um, this one mom, she said, I don't know my kid, he's not... He, he talks a lot, and I was like, well, he's still talking. He's answering all my questions, and then when I treated him, right away, he just started bab babbling away again and just, like, talking, talking, talking. So she was like, there he is. There's my son. That's, that's really wonderful. Yeah. Well, through a, a lot of different appointments and over the years, my daughter's de developed, and she's, she's doing wonderfully. She's thriving, but it's really nice to know that there's general treatments out there that may offer, in some cases, a non-surgical way to just facilitate the body trying to grow. So when we're talking about identifying health, we really are using the paradigm that the body wants to heal itself, the body wants to um, go a certain way and grow into its fullest manifestation of itself, both in, in all kinds of health, yeah. both, both physically, but also emotionally, spiritually, right. and, and having that connection with everything around it. Um, yes, and so there's a saying like, as uh, the twig is bent, so does the tree grow. Oh, so, that's beautiful. Yeah, so if the twig is sort of swaying this way, the tree grows swaying. And if the twig is like nice and balanced and standing strong and tall, that's how the tree grows. So like intervening early on is, is really, really amazing. That is beautiful. I often talk about, because um, I'm often talking with moms about their kids, and I often liken it to when we wear maybe a, maybe a pretty but maybe a not healthy pair of shoes for a long period of time, and it can morph how your feet are shaped, mm -hmm. and that's a choice because mm -hmm. we choose to wear those shoes because mm -hmm. they're so pretty. But, um, you know, the, the bones and the way the tissues meld and are against the bones and the way everything flows together, that's forever changing, even when we're all grown up. So you're it's able to true. see yes. patients of all ages, I, really. I to see help. all ages, and it's even adults. I mean, you think sometimes you've had a problem for so long that it can't shift. It's not true. There are so many possibilities. One of the first steps is actually being able to imagine that there is a possibility, mm -hmm. like imagining that, oh, what would it feel like if my body felt better to open up that avenue? Like what if you'd been in a car accident or had a concussion years ago? It is possible. Have. Yes, of course, it depends on the severity mm -hmm. of the accident. But I have seen people even have accidents from like a decade or more or so ago, and you could still feel the impact in the tissues. And sometimes it was just a matter of getting more flow. So more flow, that's, the health is really in the flow. So if you get more blood flow to and from the brain, um, yeah, that could be pretty remarkable. <laughs> that is remarkable. Mm -hmm. The memory comes back, the, um, their, their brain fog just kind of dissipates, and they're, they really feel more present. 
because like part of them just kind of floated out. It's just they felt um, overwhelmed yes. with the state of how they I were. I recently uh, worked with you with a patient um, who's wearing a mouth device. Um, she had had some dental problems because she'd been kicked in the face by her horse. And you and when she first came in, she had a difficulty holding a regular conversation and looking you in the eye. She seemed very nervous. And she she said, "I don't feel myself. I'm just not right. Yeah. I, I've healed officially, but I know I'm not the way I usually right. am." And, and uh, it's a, you've seen it's her a, just a few times, really, and she's she's doing much better. That, I she love that, better. and I, that's why I do what I do. Is you really get to see someone's self, their, their true self come out. When they feel anxious and kind of sh shelled in, it's really just a coping mechanism to get them through the stress and trauma of whatever it was, an incident or ongoing stress. Um, and when you allow the flow to return and you allow that health to come out, then they feel more like themselves. They feel more at ease. Mm -hmm. um, they're more present and more engaging. We're going to go on a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about sleep and tension release techniques. Do you want to learn how you can stop sabotaging yourself? I'm here with Dr. Vern Morgan, and I think he's about to tell you just that. There's great new technology which will allow you to change the old negative programming into very positive strategies. And we do that by using and delivering repetitively these strategies bypassing the conscious mind and influencing the subconscious mind. And to learn more, go to unitedintentions.org and click on shop and make the authentic change today. Download the UI Media Smart App at uimediaapp.com to watch and listen to all your favorite shows anytime from anywhere in the world. Shows that enrich, entertain, educate, and feeds the conscious cells throughout your body. We bring you never heard before topics in health, inspiration, music, psychics, numerology, current affairs, controversies, and much, much more. So what are you waiting for? Visit www.uimediaapp.com and start raising your frequency now. Hi, I'm Val Schwann, Director of Counseling at Cumberland Academy. We just finished a group teacher training with Jennifer Kramer from Imagine If. All of the exercises that Jennifer led were very impactful for our teachers to understand perspectives of our students and what might lead to a better increased understanding and a higher social emotional EQ. It was by far one of the most positive experiences I've ever had here at Cumberland with our staff. Again, we enjoyed it. It was fabulous and our teachers can't wait to see her again. We're back from our break. We're here to talk about sleep and tension release. You have a program, Tension Release. Yes, there, it's called Tension and Trauma Release Exercises. And they were developed by Dr. David Berselli. It's taught in over 40 countries. What it helps do is to help to balance the nervous system. It's sometimes called a shaking meditation because it, it uses these set of physical exercises to help us access this relaxation response in the body, which is what so many of us could use. And you've taken this, you've been to some places that have had trauma, like some earthquake yes. places in California. Mm -hmm. The fires in California. The I'm going to be in Parkland um, in just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So and then you, you actually will be in a field where there's been a, yes. a situation like an earthquake, and this is something you've, you've guided yes. some people so through. It's, it's really, um, what it does is it helps to balance the autonomic nervous system. So you have your two arms of the nervous system. You have your sympathetic, which is your fight or flight response, and your parasympathetic, which is your sleep, digestion, relaxation response. So the two need to be in balance to just feel good, to be able to sleep well, to have good energy, to think well, to digest well. And when you're not, I want to point out too, when you're not sleeping well, that you're not in your, you're not getting that restorative sleep where you're, where most of your healing occurs. So this, mm -hmm. this facilitates getting a better night's sleep. So people. It's one of the best things I could recommend for sleeping well. Okay. Um, you know, I've, even people who've been on um, sleep medications, mm -hmm. on herbals, um, 
doing meditation. This, it goes straight to the body. It lets the body uh, unwind in its own way because it has a reflexive response and nature loves a balance. We're a part of that. And when you do this, especially when you do it consistently, it can have phenomenal results. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Right. And so with stress and trauma, yeah, sleep is a major, major issue. It affects every organ system. Again, the part always affects the whole, so it affects the whole body. That's great. Well, as a dentist, we, we make mm -hmm. sleep appliances, but it's a whole other take on sleep. It's, it's to try to help open up airway. It's to try to, um, and some of the appliances, like I was saying, can, be, can help people regain an equilibrium that they might not have because they're not able to breathe. Yeah, but, um, and again, an example of that These combinations of things are, are really amazing. So really the point of this program is to, to let people know out there that there are a lot of different options, a lot of different ways to facilitate your healing journey and to try, try these things for yourself, learn about them. So we have Dr. Dianca Radas here, um, a, a nice prop, actually a nice demo to explain that sort of the tipping point when your body's just had enough or your, your stress level has just been up to here and your body's had enough and what happens? Maybe explain yes. how we do we Yes, we have a lot of resilience. And so um, when we're ill, when we're feeling sick, it doesn't always happen overnight. It's like built up over a lifetime. And then it's those last things that happen and it's just like we can't deal with it anymore and our bodies start to letting us know big time. So that's the fire that comes out that comes out as an illness like inflammatory bowel disease or migraines or um, you know, allergies. It could be any problem, you name it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it can be smoldering and mm -hmm. some people- The if fire you're more, within. Right, if you're kind of in tune with your body, you can kind of feel it starting to smolder. And so those are the signs where like, I don't feel quite right. So listen to yourself, listen to your intuition. And even if you go and, and you know, the, the physician says like, well, I can't find anything. We're looking for health, not disease. That's excellent. And I would say the same thing if you're a parent and you feel like your child's just been a little bit off, not 100% themselves. It's appropriate to question. You know your kid better than the, mm -hmm. the doctor who gets to see your kid on, on maybe a regular basis, but not all the time. Yeah. You live with them. And everyone's unique, so... Um, a parent can is really good at reading those signs. Yes, it, so it's always appropriate to ask questions and seek out healthcare providers that are willing to give you the time that you're needing. This is Dr. Amy Dairies on the Whole Healing Show with the UI Media Network. Thank you for watching today.